I'm not doing hard mode tower and I probably don't want to fight that one Bowser. Ooh, maybe a bit of shoulder. Whoa, 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 okay. When I say I have a dad bod? No, I'm not really rocking dad bod right now. I'm, um, I'd say I like got like 20% dad bod. Why do we never say mom bods? Because moms just have hot bods. And also, I think it's very specifically because, I don't know, like after dads get, like, that's generally when men, I'd say, get kind of out of shape. Is the kid, yeah. Yeah, the reason why Stu's so good, though, is he, like, no-lifes the games. He takes his runs very seriously. Like, he doesn't sacrifice anything for his runs. And he puts in all that practice. Instead of wasting time doing runs with non-world record strats, he just puts in the practice to get the world record strats. Like, he's, like... Like, Stu, to me, if I was going to build a speedrunner, like, mentality, that's how I would build it. Yeah. Yeah. I wish, I wish, like, like, I kind of wish, like, I did speedrunning the way he does speedrunning. It's very, very, very good. Are we doing hard mode? No. Oh. 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 Thank you. Thank you, GPW3. Forgot about that one. You're excited to see him stream something else? I think the way he focuses, I think he could be pretty good at just... Yo, Dante! Thank you for the five gift subs. What is going on? Thank you all for the love. I really, really appreciate you. I should get an extra exit for each face we see. Oh, I know. I'm thinking about those two, those two free exits. Listen, what can, you, what can you say? Barb's the ultimate level creator. He knew one day I'd do this challenge, and he was like, I'm going to make some free exits for him. Uh, we already did Grand Pool World 2 Bowser. I'll do the final Bowser, the Bone Bowser, but I don't think I'll do the other Bowser just because he is significantly harder, chat. Like, 100% honesty. Um, he takes generally takes me a pretty long time, but... At the same time, you know, like... It is a cool level. Not even one attempt. Well, it's got a level in front of it is the thing, so it's like, do we want to waste time going on that level? Oh shit, I know what I need to do. Save him for level 1000. Uh, the last level I want to do is Thumb Shredder. That's kind of my goal right now. But, um... It's 
Yeah, we'll see. Thumb Shredder will be... That would be lit if I could do it. Um, but... I don't know. I mean, Thumb Shredder, like, literally just hurts your hands. So... We'll see. Wee. Wouldn't have guessed by the name. Wait. Are you telling me that the ROM hack thumb shredder hurts your hands? You just learned that Spaceballs 2 is currently in the works? Um, that's something I don't think any of us need. Oh, sweet glitch. Sweet glitch. Sister Act 3? Wasn't there already a Sister Act 3? Yeah, they can't even get Rick Moranis to come back for those Ghostbusters movie. Bill Murray comes back for those Ghostbusters movie. Movies. Spaceballs 2 is 20 years too late. Yeah, I feel like Spaceballs 2, we needed it for the prequels first, right? Like, the fact that it missed the prequels, I don't care anymore. At the same time, I mean, why start an original franchise, right? It just doesn't make any sense. Why is the blue shell so laggy? I don't know, what was it doing? I feel like Star Wars dunks on itself. Star Wars TV is really good. I mean, I feel like most people enjoy the Star Wars TV shows. Pre-existing IPs make producers more comfortable? Well, I mean, I get it. Like, especially, like, here's the thing. If you're going to make a movie that already has a similar idea to a pre-existing IP, I get why it makes sense to just shove it in there. You know what I mean? Like, it does. It, it really, really, really does. Um, you know, like if you already have an idea for a space sci-fi movie, you know, just slap it in a, an existing franchise. Makes sense. And that's why they remake so much. That's why they, or they plug like old IPs into new ideas. Looking at you, HBO Scooby-Doo. artist copy great artist steal uh, well, I, th I think that's what happens though a lot is like they'll have someone will come with like a story and it is an original ip and they're like oh well this kind of reminds me of that let's just throw it into this ip you know what i mean it does it does it it's it sucks but the problem is chat it's not like lit lack of creativity or anything capitalism these fucking movies have to make money oh fuck this level might get me for negative check. I feel like we're gonna have a good mix of positive and negatives in this one. Simply because we speed ran it before. Eats good gunplay. I'm trying to think of the last action movie that I watched that I really enjoyed. I guess Furiosa. You get to watch less movies uh, once you have kids. Way more Bluey, way less movies. You guys want me to quote some Bluey episodes for you? I do. The sign isn't even a sad episode. Oh my god, auto scroller. Jesus!
Uh, um, DGR Barb, Simple Flips, and Pooh's winning the Simpsons Arcade Balloon Pot minigame. Uh, I would say the best sma a masher I know is Mitch. Like, personally, Mitch is really good and Andy's really good. Um, I am a. I'm not a bad masher, but I'm not a good button masher. Yeah. Oh, fucking shit. Yeah, fuck yeah, let's do this. Not counting the ship as an exit? Oh, did I not count the ship? The ship's absolutely an exit. Sorry. Add that one in too. Have I seen Ludwig Mash? Also very good. Sorry, I forgot the ship. Uh, I would say Ludwig's a better masher than I am. Um, honestly, if I was gonna put, like, any, like, like, if I had to put a hole in my game, like, if I had a hole in my game, outside of I tend to get laser focused on some strats that don't work sometimes, um, I would say mashing is a hole in my speedrun game. In general. Like, when I was speedrunning Dread, it was like, I was losing time to the best players on mashing it. There's nothing I can do about it. I feel like mashing is one of those things that you kind of got the technique for, or you don't, you know? Yeah. Have I seen Squeak Smash? No. Yeah, maybe I need to change what I do. Uh, turbo controllers are allowed for some games. Um, my... My hot take is that we um mashing is a skill. Mashing is a skill and we shouldn't be taking that away from games. Like if the game has like, if the game has a, like, Mega Man 10, for instance. Oh my god, like a, a, you know, a max fire rate that, you know, has in the game. I think that is totally cool. But if the game doesn't have, like, a max fire rate type of thing, I think we shouldn't allow Turbo. Personally. But on the other hand, gamers' risks, you know, accessibility, yada yada. I mean, you can make a as strong an argument as I can for it against it, you know. Yeah. Mitch versus Ludwig. Um, I mean, I've seen Mitch do it up close, so I'd probably put Mitch. I haven't seen uh, Ludwig mash up close yet, so. Do I also know Ludwin? No, never met him. I mean, I didn't really get to hang out with Ludwig while we were doing the Fast 50. The man was busy. Like he was busy running an event? Dude, he slept at the studio, chat. Yeah, it was wild. Yeah, he slept at the studio. He was there. Like, he was. He he. You know what? That was his event. Like, and he was like, "This is my event. My name's on it. I'm gonna be on it as much as humanly possible." Yeah. Putting on pe events keeps people busy. You know what? 
at this point, I'd say with like Kaizo Coliseum, I only I do like strategically. I do like every other um, event just to keep myself a little fresh. Um, and also the fact that like the Coliseums are, I don't know, they're very turnkey, right? They're very turnkey. Uh, but like in the early Coliseums, you can look like I'm on the entire time. And like, same thing, I mean like, uh, like I do, you know, I mean, that's just kind of what you got to do. Yeah, it's just kind of what you got to do. Um, Alpha Red's super nice. He was one of those people, though, that, like, uh, it was a hard read of whether I was like, does he really like me or not? Because you don't really know when you hang out with people online. <laughs> and, like, absolutely, he's fucking amazing. He's super cool. You know what it is? It's hard when you watch someone and, like, you're a fan of someone and then you meet them. It's always, there's always, like, this little, like, just random, it's kind of, you know, has, like, a moment of weird, I guess. He didn't have to sell me on Neon White. Neon White looked awesome. Oh, shit, I remember. No, I, yeah, I had such a good time. I feel like everyone... Um, I feel like, I think what I was most impressed by was he definitely had, like, a, a good vibe crowd. Despite not, like, knowing any of us personally to know if we would be able to give him that. You know what I mean? Uh, because that makes a difference. Just, like, who's there and the vibe that everyone gives off, you know? And one person can ruin that. Uh, oh, I love Kit Boga. Yeah, Kit Boga's great. Kit Boga used to raid us all the time. Um, I don't know. Any collabs coming up with the Fast 50 people? I'm gonna make all the Elden Ring people play with me after August. Uh, do I like any speedrunners from Brazil? Uh, the only ones I know are like Ricardo uh, DeMello and um, like a few of the Mario guys from Brazil. I don't really know any of them. Oh, I'm an idiot. Fuck me. Whoever, you, whoever your favorite player is is probably the best too. That's that's the that's the thing with Mario is like um, we're all so closely packed up. I feel like your favorite player is probably going to be the best. And that's what's cool about Mario speedrunning. We're all just so fucking... All us Kaizo guys are just like... So stuck in the middle. Yeah, right behind hot drinks. Do I like the movie Brazil? I don't know what that means. What's the movie Brazil? You need to check that ranking that was once made. I, you know what? That ranking, I didn't have any problem with it because it had me at like number 11. I was like, yeah, I'm okay with this ranking. Imagine being number 11 in anything in the world. That one counted me as number 11. Yeah, I was okay with that ranking system. That was, that was funny though, man. Dude, there are, there's so many great Mario players that are just good at so many different things, and it just kind of depends on, like, you know, what they're, what they had for breakfast. Can I tell you a secret? Whoever plays the game the most usually has the world record at it. Yep, I know. I know, it's almost like whoever practices the most and puts in the most work becomes the best. Yeah, they put, they become the best at it. It is crazy. Uh, 
I know. That's the that's the bullshit about life. That nobody wants to hear. Practice works. Until Sue comes around and takes the world record. I think that is the best example of the person who plays the most. I think that is the absolute best example of the person who plays the most is the best. The best Mario player is X Water. Um, he's the sexiest. So confused of how you got a sub, but you've never watched. Uh, the algorithm loved you. The algorithm was like, you know what? I know this streamer that you're gonna love. Like having a group of people that believe in you does help. Sometimes that can add a lot of pressure. I didn't want to do that. Wait. Wait. There we go. I thrive with the pressure. Because it's Barb. I think it's also just like a testament to how long he spent, you know, like not just putting it out just to get something out, like, you know what I mean? Even when it probably was frustrated, you know, and probably wanted to, you know, it's just instead of doing that, you wait, get your motivation back. Taking your time, you know? Yeah. a testament to all of that i'm sure there were bad levels at one point but maybe not yeah i mean i i think i think like the amount of hours put into it is a key factor to why each level like each jump feels like oh this is a good jump you know what i mean like they never feel oh yeah See? He obliterated them. 1.1? Never. Congrats on the thousand- I wasn't here. Congrats on beating 1,000 levels in Mario Maker less than three. That was years ago. Everyone's struggling to find the hidden exit in this level. Wait, is there a hidden exit in this level? Uh, Yoshi, what are you doing? Like, the creators can get royalties for the gamer. Dude, there was a, there was a, like, a part, this small time where a bunch of ROM hack creators, like, basically were saying, like, streamers should pay them for their hacks. And, and while I think in a perfect world, That should exist. It'd be, it's like, it was like, well, that would be illegal, you know? Like, that would be, that would literally be illegal. And then we couldn't, we couldn't do this anymore, you know? Like, that's the whole key to us doing it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It was like, it was just this awkward time, and it was like, well, you know, you gotta make an original IP then, and I'm not disagreeing with you. I know. In that regarding, you know, why people watch certain things. Oh my god, Nintendo's lawyers would love that. That that'd be the end of SMW Central.
All right, there we go. And I, but I don't disagree with it. I wish there was a way. And that's why like, you know, when someone makes a ROM hack, I feel like sub to them, you give them subs, like things like that. You just, you do what you can that you really like. Yeah, totally. I totally understand where they're coming from too. You know what I mean? Smells like laundering. Mm, well, good thing you have no idea what money laundering is then. <laughs> good, good thing you have no idea what money laundering is because... <laughs> yeah, nobody's, nobody's taking illegal money to pay taxes on it. I don't... I don't know. I don't know if you know what money laundering is. I mean, respectfully. I totally agree, Barb. I think I totally agree. I think like, I also think like just them, they're made out of love. Like all of them are made out of love. Like, I think that's kind of part of it. You know what I mean? I feel like this level was really hard to make fun. Which one was the hardest, Barb, to like, be like, oh, this still isn't fun? Oh, I just need to go. I think I've ever been hit by that fucking fish before. The end of level trolls are like so devastating in this challenge. They are legitimate. Go! Legitimately so devastating. That fish remembered the embarrassment, came back for revenge. Are there any other thousand level speedruns? What do you mean? No, we were talking money laundering. Whee! Um, I think GDQ having, like, I think GDQ channel just being on a lot more probably hurt GDQ's, like, the main GDQ's presence. Um, just it made it feel less special, you know, uh, to the average Twitch viewer. Yeah, I mean, I think...
Whee! What up, bug? Nah. Yeah, I, I agree. I think I think GDQ getting rid of the hotfixes, I think they are, or making a separate hotfix channel, it would ultimately be the best for them. Does Red Bull provide any drinks? Yeah, Red. oh, there's free Red Bull all over GDQ, yeah. You're starting to be not bad at Rust. Do you know how to, like, work the electronics and stuff? I can spend days just building electronics on that. All this is green, so this is a baby hack? You know it. Why are these guys purple? Have they always been purple? Or is that just my TV? Damn it. It's already two minute video. Harder than Spelunky? Mm, this game's harder than like the first exit of Spelunky, but I wouldn't say it's harder than 7.99, no. I guess that depends on who you are. I shouldn't say that. That that just literally depends on who you are and like how many hours you put into each game before this. Fuck. You can get good at Spelunky faster than SMW. Mm, I don't know. I, th I think Spelunky and SMW just kind of test very different skill sets, to be honest with you. Except for the patience. The patience is a similar skill set in both of them. Practice of specific skills. So you can just be ready for the variety of setups you'll see that skill in. Yeah, whereas Spelunky, I think, has a lot more decision-making. SMW Central is where you want to go. You can get all the games there. Um, but you need a clean, a clean, legally obtained SMW ROM. Can I emphasize legally obtained? Worst part of the game right here. Fuck. Did I ever do Celeste SMW? Yeah, I had the world record in it for a bit. <laughs> That's not fair, Buck. You might have remembered that from childhood. One of the copies might, it could even be your copy. That other copy could even be technically maybe your copy. Probably you thieving bitch. <laughs> chat, Buck, it, who's in chat, he was the first, first house I ever played Fallout at, chat. Oh no, and I repaid him by stealing his game? Dude, Buck had the cool shit. Buck was the only human I ever knew who had a Sega Saturn. Which we never played. Honestly, we never played that Sega Saturn. You know what? I never thought of you as that. I just thought... I thought, one, you guys, like, it never occurred to me that y'all had a little bit of money. I mean, I probably should've. Um... But you guys weren't like dicks about it. I just always kind of assumed you had because you had an older brother. You know what I mean? That like you just got like cool older brother stuff. Buck was a homie though, chat. He sold me a PlayStation. And you're like, what? And this is where I tell you about our criminal days. Eclipse seems appropriate for this area. Ooh, we got it. You were really good at petty. Th you were you were great at petty theft. 
You taught, you taught a whole crew of people how to petty thieve. <laughs> Did we already do Learn to Kaizo? Uh, yes, but we kind of decided that Learn to Kaizo is cheating. This level's fucking sick. I think this, this is probably my favorite level in this game, but it's kind of hard to say like a favorite level in this one because they're all like eight out of nine out of tens, you know? But this one, man. Texans are, oh, they're in the AFC South. So I'm, Houston's not North. I don't know why I thought they were the AFC North. The, yeah, it's the Steelers, Steelers, Bengals. I don't know why I'm thinking like Texans. I was thinking Texans, Indianapolis. Dude, chat, that's it. I can't, I can't talk about the NFL this year. They're kicking me off everything. I got I got a division wrong while I was playing this game. We're done. I know, Buck. I gotta visit you when I come next. Ooh, I forgot how long this is. This is a time eater. That was a time eater. Go, oh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I say we just full send. How am I? I'm doing wonderful. Oh my god, look at that. I'm doing really great. Boom. I think we're hitting 600 today. Um... I fucked up, I need that. All right, never mind, we're good. We're about as green as Exxon. You love the caca cam? You owe a sub. Yep. If all you see is gray sweatpants, you perv. You owe a sub. Okay. There we go. Showing you my nails. Uh, if only I had like nice painted nails right now. I definitely don't. Grand Pool World 3 is easy. Second hardest game of all time? Jeez. Oh, whoops. Yeah, some more Kaizo. I mean, we got like 60 more hours.
Ooh. Top 10 difficult but good game rankings. I didn't watch the video, honestly, so I haven't. I haven't seen it. I just like that it's. I like that it's in there at all. No, ah! Oh. Read more of the message? Oh. Well, I didn't read. You know what? I can only read like eight words at a time. Buying the game is is a tough boss. You get married in August, do it in July. Um, I might actually. July might be an easier month. Just boofed some coffee, good to go. Is that where you stick it in your, your butt? Questions, but you also don't want answers? You definitely don't. Yeah, you definitely don't want answers. BPW3 1000? Oh man. I don't know what's going on there. Will you fix it? I, I did I have a seizure? <laughs> what is that title? If I hit the incentive, I'm going to play Grand Pool World 4. I'm going to make it. He knew I would do this? Yeah, I mean, that's probably a good... That was probably a good call, to be honest with you. Alright, here we go. I got it. I got her. Look at me speed running. Fuck me in the dick balls. The timer will definitely fall back down. Well, it's been falling down for a couple days. There we go. We're good on count. Why isn't Donkey Kong 64 considered a 3D Metroidvania? Because it's a fucking horrible game, okay? Because nobody should ever fucking play Donkey Kong 64. Don't torture yourself like that. Uh, I didn't like ukulele either. Yeah, I like, you know what I did like? Nuts and bolts though. I thought nuts and bolts was really fun. 
Wait. What am I doing here? This challenge is refreshing, but not as not refreshing, refreshing as a nice side salad. As a, Start oh, a by washing salad. and cutting your You watch my stream so you don't miss a single recipe? He's he put in chat, seriously, this one's good. <laughs> You're surprised we don't have a poo fuck up emote? We have a poo bad emote, which goes six to seven. I put you to bed every night? Whoa. Whoa. Um, I don't Yeah, I've had, I've had that one. I like it fine, I just don't like coconut. I'm not a coconut fan. Yeah, I like, I like the Juneberry one, but it's a little much. Do I enjoy the new summer flavor? I actually like that one a lot. I think it's because it's kind of like, it's very soft. A lot of the other flavors are very strong and that one's a lot softer. But I do get people who think like it's more floral, but I like that. Yeah, the first thing I said to X Water this morning, I woke up, I said, hi to X-Water before I said hi to my wife. And I said, X-Water, do you want to play Chain Together together? And he said, fuck you, Pooh. You're uh, a dirty man whore. I hate you. I won't, I don't love you at all. And I was like, okay, maybe tomorrow. That's how I responded. I was like, I was like, okay, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, it happened on stream chat. No, shit. Thank God we got through there. There we go. Oh, uh, well, it looked like they had a limited amount of summons. Like, um, so there was one point where it had like three triangles and another point where it had five triangles. So I think you're just going to be able to upgrade how many summons you get. And that's how they're going to limit, limit you from going places is what I would guess. You know? Yeah. I am. I, I have to feel like that's what's going to happen. Chat. Ah! That was a cheap exit? Dude, it took me 42 seconds. What do you mean that was a cheap exit? It took me 42 seconds. Barb really loves Mario 2? Dude, if you don't like Mario 2, honestly, you have bad taste. Balls. Why not with X Water? He said he has sponsored content later. So he can't do it with me today. That's... That was his exact words. Uh, man needs to get paid. Yeah, someone, someone was like, 
you could bribe him, and I'm like, well, I can't bribe him because... Oh, I could ask CJ, maybe. I bet CJ would do it with me. Is he do is he on right now? Yeah, pass my note. Yeah, ask him to check a yes or no box. Do you like poo, yes or no? Get down here! Let's go. Do you poo? Yes, no? Chat, is this- would this be a horrible idea, doing this? I feel like this is a horrible idea. I just don't remember this level at all right now. Oh, okay, I remember that. This is a bad idea. We're fine. We're fine. I think I have to hit him, right? Yeah, I gotta hit him. I forgot. You don't run from that when you hit him. All right, chat, here we go. I'm willing to bet Red Bulls paid Ninja more than they've paid me. Still, even though I've been with them for a lot longer. <laughs> Oh, you sexy bastard laser belt. Let's go. Uh, dude, the Fortnite concerts are actually really good. There we go. Dude, DDR is so hard. Anyone who's good at DDR is a psychotic human. Gamble was really good. Gamble 2 had really long levels, though. Um... But I like to gamble and gamble too. I thought they were both good games.
Wait, what the fuck just happened there? I don't think that's how it works. Yeah, I'm an, I'm an athlete. I'm not a gamer. Uh, what am I under? Am I under eSports for them? Yeah, Red Bull has me under eSports, I think. Um, not gamer. Honestly, I feel like I'd rather be under gamer. Yeah. They still have me in the athlete's header, and instead of what? Instead of players? Is there like a different one? Are like the other gamers somewhere else? They have disciplines in Super Mario Brothers 3. <laughs> Ooh, they haven't updated that in a while. If you go to athletes filter by gaming, I'm not there. What if you filter by esports though? Whoops. As like a, because I was, I don't know, like as a way to separate. It used to be like a way to separate like. Wait, what do I want to do here? <laughs> Shit. Oh my God. This man's making shell jumps in 2024. You can't categorize me. Puts me in a box. Gates of Fire. That's the Gate of Fire is the one I don't know if I want to do. You know, but I also feel like chat. I feel like we got to do it. You know, I feel if we lose it all on that Bowser. You know. Then we just accept. We just accept what happens. Hundred percenting the hacks not required for the challenge? No. No, but I do think we're not gonna stop us from playing a really good boss. Wow, that was one of the most unclutch moves I've ever had, chat. What is the anti-clutch? Yeah, if you you can mock me for that one. I'm okay with that. I deserve an open mocking. Dude, I love giant emotes, chat. The opposite of clutch is choke. If only I had an emote for it. Hmm. 
Wait. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. The, okay, when the USA chant busted out during this level, I kind of lost it. I was like, I was like, oh, this is both a beautiful and horrible moment. Just use vats? Yeah, this level's hard. I would agree with that. No, I know what to do. I just keep, it's just like, it's, here's the thing. All of the, this level is in the back of my memory somewhere. I just have to unlock it. You know what I mean? And to do that, I have to see what's coming next. I have no idea what's coming next each time. Live Bowser. Dude, this fight's so hard. Not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Okay, come on.
go. Let's go. Not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, that is not bad. We'll take that. Whew. Whew. For 55 million, you'll make your own league. Love. Uh, you love these creative Kaisos? Yeah, this game, I mean, Grandpa World 3 is just so fucking good, dude. This game is just so amazing. I know, now we're gonna jump off shelves for like the next 10 hours. Uh, what do I prefer, two or three? Um, three. It's newer. Nah, they're both amazing. I, I think they're honestly both really, really great. I don't think that, like... I think no matter what, people were gonna prefer two, like, no matter what, because two's probably gonna hit at a different point in a lot of people's lives. Yeah, I prefer three, though. I think three's just a bit more creative, just has a lot more going on. Um, I just think there's a lot of extra details that aren't in, like, in a Mario game. Like, they're not, like, Mario game details. They're just, like, details that I really like. Um, I like the freedom of movement that it provides. That prevented, uh, everybody's playthroughs from feeling too stale, you know? I don't know. I just thought it was a really good game. Um... Either way, I just appreciate it because 3 was the first time that, like, I felt like mo people were excited about Mario in a long time, you know? Uh, and it was kind of crazy. I mean, it had more viewers than the Mario RPG remake at one point. Which is just kind of wild to think about. It's the peak of Kaizo. Um, I mean, I think a lot of people feel that way, and I don't. I don't think anyone's wrong, you know. Yeah, I. I, th I, I would probably agree. I think it's the greatest game ever made. I. I think. I just think that even the idea of someone else making something that has this amount of like attention to detail is really hard. Because it's, A, you know, you're giving this game away for free, right? And B, you need a lot of help in something like this. Yeah, it's, I agree, it's a much more complete game. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, let's. We gotta scramble our way back. Hey, that's me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Whoops. 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 I just wanted to see myself again.
Ah! Okay, we got it. No, we're not doing corn dilly. There's a Kaizo block right there, chat. You don't want to hit it. What was the 2211 level? Uh, it was the Wet Bowser. That guy thinks of it. Yeah, that guy thinks of it. I should get a, I should get an exit for that. I shouldn't have to do this, boss. Okay, I don't remember his attacks chat, sorry. I got hit by a hammer. I mean, y'all are saying like, like I haven't spent over an hour on levels in this challenge already. keeping a spreadsheet of levels clear times uh there's a spreadsheet i don't think i like each level clear time but i think of oh are you fucking kidding me uh each hack individual hack clear times Give me a bonus bomb, you hooker. We already played Celeste, yeah, we already did Celeste. That wasn't even hard. That Bowser's, I mean, compared to the other Bowser's, not hard, but I mean, you gotta remember, like, it doesn't seem hard because we've practiced it, you know? Like, that's why it doesn't seem hard. Yeah. So many hours. Did I do the DLC? What, Shadow of the Tree? Yeah, it's done. I've already done it. It's over. Over.
I beat it all. Oh, man.